Hello, paratroopers of West Every Third Airborne Brigade. I'm Sergeant Poos, and today, as part of the Know Your Gear series, I'm going to talk to you about the Six Mag Bandolier Pouch. But first, a few words about the M8 Bandolier. So this is the M8 Bandolier. It comes inside the 556 ball ammo can. Each bandolier has a sling, and it comes with a safety pin. So the safety pin is to adjust the sling into different types of configurations. Each M8 bandolier has four pockets. Each contain a cardboard sleeve. Inside that cardboard sleeve are three stripper clips and each stripper clip contains 10 rounds. So giving you a total of 30 rounds per pocket, okay? For a total of 120 rounds for your bandolier. So now I'm gonna show you how that looks like at the range and bring your attention to this white string. So I'm just going to grab it out just like this and I'm going to lay it out for you. So as you can see, it's got four pouches just like this. All of these pouches are divided into two compartments. So you got a smaller compartment here and a bigger compartment. So the bigger compartment has the 556 five, ball rounds in a cardboard box just like this. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take those out. So I want to bring your attention to this white string right over here. Okay. All it does is prevent from the cardboard box to go all the way down to the bottom of this pouch so that it just makes it easier for us to grab and then load our magazines, okay? So that's the whole point of it. All right, so that white string comes out. All right, so that's what I'm bringing your attention to and that's kind of the hidden secret. So this white string comes out to open up the access to the bottom over here. So as you can see over here, this little one that small one, you, it doesn't work to pull on it. You gotta find the one that also has this loop, okay? So you see how there's a string and a loop? Don't pull on the loop, pull on the string. And then it's gonna unravel the whole string of the bandolier done. It's just like this. So it comes out and that's done on purpose. It's a design that, it's designed that way so that now all you gotta do is that you can use this as a four mag bandolier pouch. So then you just put your four mags in there, just like this, okay? There it is, just like this. All right, so now I can sling this and then have four mags on the go, just like this, okay? Now, I wanna bring your attention to the safety pin right over here. So every bandolier dunnage comes with a safety pin just like this. It's done on purpose so that you can shorten the length of this sling so it's closer to your body and doesn't flap as much. So you can do that like that and just like, just shorten up that sling just like this, okay? Or you could do something like what they used to do in Vietnam is where they set out like this, okay? You're gonna take the halfway point, bring the halfway point to the middle just like this and it's basically you're going to use the safety pin to bring it in just like this and now you're going to place it onto your body like a bra like a bra sign just like this and so this is what they used to do in vietnam although this was one way to wear the bandolier as an improvised chest rig it was not the norm Soldiers generally wore the bandolier across their chest with the opening side of the bandolier facing the non-firing hand of the soldier for easy access to the magazines. The M8 is designed to fit one magazine per pocket. So I'm just gonna place these magazines inside each pocket right over here. And show you what that looks like, okay? So each pocket has its little cover, just like that. So we're just gonna close that up just like this, okay? So there it is. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, and if we were to place this upside down, you could see that even, even when I shake it, it does not fall out. Okay, none of the magazines fall out. Okay, it holds really well. Now, it's been brought to my attention that you can double up the magazines inside each pocket. Okay, now this is not the intended design. However, it does fit. The only thing is that the cover is not big enough now to cover both magazines, you see? So if you were to hold it upside down, it could fall out, okay? So that's the only difference, okay? So in my opinion, I think it's uh, pretty good to have that knowledge, to know that you can double them up and just be aware that they have a 
potential to fall out. The M8 bandolier is made by different manufacturers, as you can tell by the difference in color in the bandolier and the sling. But both have the same characteristics and measurements. So both have a sling, both have four pockets, both come with a safety pin, and the safety pin is always pinned to the same side and to the rear of the sling. Both have a white quick release drawstring, and the quick release of the drawstring is always on the opposite side of the safety pin. So this manufacturer favored, so the little loop system where you have this drawstring that you pull right here, and that's how you take it apart. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that for the time being. And this other one has a different looking quick release system that's intertwined on itself. So if I pull on it, it does not come apart, as you can see right here. I'd have to remove the tip of that string from the last loop and it'll unwind the whole bandolier. So let's start with the first one. So I'm just gonna pull on it just like this, kind of zoomed in over here and show you what that looks like. Just like that. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna keep pulling on that to show you what that looks like. Okay. So there is what it looks like. This is the drawstring that I pulled out. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And now let's go with the second one. All right guys, so I brought it closer so you could see better the quick release system that is used right over here. So all you gotta do is pull this tip out of that last loop. So I'll just do it for you right now, just like this. And then all you gotta do is pull on it and it'll all unravel on its own. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the six mag bandolier. So as you can see, it's got three pouches containing two mags each. So I'm just gonna open those up for you. And I'm gonna pull out the two mags in the center pouch to show you the nomenclature and end of the six mag bandolier pouch. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take those two mags, place them back into that center pouch and close that up. So these are 30 round magazines. As you can see, each pouch is closed by a snap fastener system. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the rear. And uh, you can see that it has no molly webbing like the Marine Corps version. Now it does have the two snap fasteners right over here to fit inside the front pocket of your salt pack. So I'm gonna bring the salt pack into the frame and show you what that's about. So here's your salt pack. You got your front pocket right over here. Open that up and then you can expose those two snap fasteners right over here. Okay, so that's what these two snap fasteners snap into. All right, so take your bandolier, place it inside that front pocket, and you're just gonna snap in those two snap fasteners. All right, so one, and then two right over here. Okay, so then all you gotta do is pull onto that sling to pull out your bandolier. And now you have six mags on the go. Okay, so here you got your adjustable sling, so it's easy to adjust. All you gotta do is pull on it right here to extend it, and so now you can sling it around your body, and then to shorten it, you can just do the same process in reverse order, just like this. As you can see over here, it's stitched, and here it's stitched with a metal oval link to allow for the sling to adjust, okay? So there it is. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the two tabs right over here. So this is intended to hold down and secure the bottom edge of your bandolier. So for instance, you could take a bungee cord and all you gotta do is hook in and hook in and now it's gonna hold in the bottom end of your bandolier so it doesn't flop around and make noise. Okay, so there are different configurations of how to use your bandolier. The bandolier is intended for ammo resupply. One of the ways to carry the six mag bandolier is on your body. There are three configuration types. I'm gonna show them to you right now. The first is gonna be where you shorten up that sling and place the sling around your neck. You're then gonna grab a bungee cord and place those two hooks in those side tabs of the six mag bandolier. There it is, this is what it looks like. Now, I don't recommend it because it really pulls down your neck. It's pretty uncomfortable on the neck. Okay, now we're gonna go into the second configuration. You're gonna remove that bungee cord. You're going to fully extend that sling, just like that, and you're just gonna sling around your body, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna go into the third configuration. So for that, you're gonna grab your bungee cord, and you're going to hook it up to one side of the six mag bandolier tab, just like that, all right? All right, now I'm going to extend just like this, place it through the bandolier sling, just like that. I'm going to place one arm through here, my neck through here, the inside, and then I'm going to drop. I now grab the bungee, and then I place it into the tab right over here. 
and this is what the end product looks like. Okay, so this is much more comfortable because now the weight is on my shoulders and not on my neck anymore. So this is probably my preferred method if I had to rig it in this sort of, um, this sort of configuration. Another configuration is to have the six mag bandolier on the back of the seat. So take your six mag bandolier and shorten up that sling so it fits perfectly snug on the top of that seat. Then you're gonna take your bungee cord and place it through those side tabs of the six mag bandolier, just like this. So now you have six mags available from the back seat. So this is what it looks like on the front end of it. Another configuration is to place inside a speedball for ammo resupply. So a speedball is nothing more than a duffel bag full of resupply equipment that is essential for you to carry on mission. So this is dropped off by your supporting unit. So a class one speedball would be full of food and water. So MREs, you would field strip your MREs and then water. A class six speedball would have items such as batteries for your nods and PEC 15s. A class four speedball would be construction and building materials such as sandbags. And the one we're most interested in would be class five items. So class five speedball, such as ammo, grenades, claymores, and smokes. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a few bandoliers over here just to show you how to place them inside your class five speedball. Okay, so here we have our six mag bandolier and here we have our two M8 bandoliers, okay? As you can see over here, I have the slings nicely tucked away. So I did that on purpose so that the slings do not become entangled. And so whenever I have to distribute out this ammo to my team, I do not have to waste time untangling the bandoliers, okay? So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So first I'm just gonna place these two to the side and focus on the six mag bandolier. So if I need to use the six mag bandolier, all I gotta do is pull on the sling right over here. And now I can sling it around my body, all right? So the first thing you wanna do uh, to place this into the storage configuration for the speedball is that you're going to extend the sling all the way The reason being is that whenever you're wearing a helmet, it's just gonna be a lot easier to sling it around your body All right, so now you're going to extend that sling all the way and you're going to take the halfway point right over here and bring it in Okay, just like this now you're gonna open up the whole all the pouches and you're just going to grab the excess slack on this side and S fold it so place the bite into it and place it in just like this and then close that pouch on the side right over here holding in the strap okay so do the same for this side right over here okay just tuck in that sling just like that all right now if i want to tighten it a bit more all i gotta do is pull in this words inwards like this and then just close in that pouch just like this so this is how you're going to place your six mag bandolier inside your speedball and it's also how you're going to place it inside your salt pack so here you have the front pocket of your salt pack. You're going to place your six mag bandolier inside your salt pack, just like this. Okay, snap it in, just like that. And now you see that the sling is nicely tucked away. Okay, so it's not dangling in here and getting caught on other things. Okay, so if I need it, all I gotta do is pull on it. And now I have six mags on the go. Okay, all right. So now let's focus in on these two. All right, so now let's talk about your unit, unit basic load, your UBL. So your UBL is basically your full combat load, which is 210 rounds, which is seven mags. So here I have four mags and four mags, which gives me eight mags, okay? So this gives me 240 rounds, which is even more than my UBL, okay? All right, so now I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna tuck away the sling for the M8 bandolier. So if I need it, all I gotta do is pull right here, and now I have eight, four mags on the go. I could just take off my retainer band right over here and place that to the side. All right, so now here I have four mags. All I gotta do is S fold. So I'm just gonna come in like this, S fold, S fold, just like that. Just S fold the mags. I'm gonna grab that sling and I'm gonna bring the halfway point to the center right over here, just like this. Okay, make sure I have no twists, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna grab my retainer band and I'm gonna place it on top, just like this, okay? So now, what am I gonna do? Is I'm going to fold inwards the excess sling right over here. All right, so I fold it inwards, not outwards, okay? Just like that. All right, there it is. Do the same for the opposite side right over here. And secure that just like that, okay? So now, I have my sling nicely tucked away for my speedball. 
So this is what it looks like when you have your ammo and bandoliers that are generally organized inside your speedball, just making it a lot easier for you to distribute out to your team. All right, guys, so I just emptied out those bandoliers, and as you can see, it's a lot more noisy, disorganized, and difficult to distribute. This concludes this video. I hope that your ammo resupply in the future goes well.